Okay, so yeah, I am in fact making an episode five of the COVID Diaries, but not because it took more twists and turns, but because I realized it was kind of weird to just leave it with no conclusion. So I'm gonna give it one, <laughs> even though there's still some lingering symptoms, but not, nothing worth continuing to report back on, I don't think, but I, I did feel like I, I should probably at least give it a conclusion so it's not just open-ended, like, so did she ever get better, or what happened with that? Yeah, so, anyway, um, I tested negative as of Monday, I believe. I was probably negative before that, but I wasn't, like, checking, because I don't really go anywhere, so I, I don't have the same need that a lot of people to need to know exactly how many days before I was negative. I, it doesn't really matter for me. So I didn't bother until my sister was kind of harassing my parents to know if they were negative or not. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should like test again, huh? Just, just so I know. Just so I know. Even though by that point, it was already assumed I, I must be negative by now, right? And I was. I was. I probably had been for several days by that point. But for sure, as of this past Monday, I was. Uh, so, anyway, there's that. Since the last update, since I realized that was addressed in a live stream that's now gone, um, almost like a day or two after I made that, the sciatic nerve shit finally calmed down. Thank God! Thank God! So, no, I didn't end up hitting up my mom for gabapentin. I just toughed it out, but... Thank God. Chilled out, so all is well. <laughs> all is well um, on that front, thank goodness. So uh, my energy levels are not back. They're just not. But that takes a long time to bounce back for me from any illness. Um, what I really still have is the cough, and it's bringing stuff up now still. And this is, what, two weeks on from originally coming down with it? Um, so there's still that. Still nasal congestion a lot. Um, and it does feel like it's turning into a sinus infection. But again, I'm not going to keep making COVID diaries for that. That That's a residual that just... It sucks, but it is what it is. I think I knew early on that was going to probably be a thing when, like, I could feel it in the sinuses that are up in this part of your head. Since, for those who don't know, you have... They're kind of shaped like a butterfly. They go up and out and down and out, kind of like butterfly wings, and down, obviously, your nose and, like, back. So, the ones that are up here, I used to know the names of the different sinuses, I don't anymore, but the ones up in the forehead area, I could feel a lot of stuff stuck there that I could not get to budge, and it so gross. So fucking gross. I know, no one wants to know this, but if you're tuning into this, maybe you do. I don't know, but, like, it just... It was not like normal congestion where it's just, like, runny nose and drains... No. This shit was, like, the consistency of, like, honey or molasses. It just... So... Slow... To move... And just... Sticky and disgusting. And, like, couldn't get it to drain, no matter what I did. Now, before anybody says neti pot... Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Not with me. Not with me. No. <laughs> Those who are longtime viewers of this channel. No, my long and torrid affairs with the neti pots and how it has never ended well for me. Ever. I thought it did like one time. I had a fluke chance the first time I used one where it helped. And every time after that, it only ever made things worse. I'm like, no. No. Originally, I thought maybe it was chemicals in the little plastic one. So I bought a ceramic one, used the ceramic one, and proceeded to scald the ever-loving shit out of my nostrils, my sinuses. It was terrible, traumatizing, never doing that again. But generally, what would happen with me was um, I would use a neti pot, I would feel better for maybe a couple hours, and then whatever symptoms I was trying to clear would rebound hardcore. And I can only assume it's just because of things with... My sinus is being so chronically inflamed all the time anyway. I'm moving my phone so this stops distracting me. Um, they're just so chronically inflamed anyway that anything in there, even if it's just like 
saline solution trying to drain it out is enough to irritate it. Frankly, even just blowing my nose is enough to irritate it to keep going. So, yeah, it's... It's lovely being me with sinus issues, but anyway, it just, it is what it is. Long story short, I knew the way it felt and how it was just stuck there for days on end. I, I kind of knew already that, well, I'm screwed on this one, so alright, whatever. I guess brace myself for it, and yeah, we are starting to reach the point of it actually becoming, like, a thing. So, that sucks. Also, the insides of, like, my nostrils, it's... Again, TMI, for, but for those who just want to know what the COVID experience is like, it's like, everything is still bloody that is coming out of there. Like, anything that comes out of my nose, tons of blood in it. It's disgusting. This is not like a normal cold, despite what one user tried to tell me, who is clearly a COVID denier. This is not a normal fucking cold. It's not, as much as you want to tell yourself that. Oh, I have a couple of detractors that I will be throwing under the bus in this video, but anyway, um, regardless. Yeah, that is one thing I have learned through this experience is that I do not have patience anymore for anyone's bullshit. I just don't. That is one thing that I don't know what snapped within me while I was sick, but I am burning bridges left and right with people that just piss me off. So I'm like, you know what? No, life's too short. Not dealing with your ass anymore, or yours, or yours. Yeah, one person that we are no longer speaking of, yeah, I did with him, but also even just people who are just freaking trolling in here, just, no, nope, no, nope, I don't have the time, don't have the patience. Not doing that no more, but <laughs> life's too fucking short. So, yeah, I don't know. Clearly, my patience just went to zero with anyone's nonsense, so. <sighs> anyway, yeah. If nothing else, we're, we're cleansing <laughs> people out of here who shouldn't have been here, so regardless. Um, but yeah, at least the attention span is starting to come back, or at least to my level of normal attention span. I do still have ADD, <laughs> ADHD, so I mean, my attention span is not most people's normal attention span. But for my normal, for my normal, it, it's it's getting there. It's It's about... It's close to normal as I think we're gonna get, so whatever. That's fine. Fever went away. That's good. Pretty well set, I think. Um, at least the emanating sick smell has finally gone away again. Thank God, because that was driving me nuts, because it's one of those horrible things where no matter how much you shower, when you're still sick, if you're sensitive enough to be able to smell that, it just follows you, because it's coming through your pores. You can't get away from it. It's so gross, but yeah, at least that finally stopped too. Thank God. So, all right, there's that. I'm trying to think if there was anything else just to wrap it up with on those points before I throw the bad actors <laughs> overboard. So, of the bad actors, there was one that really surprised me. He had been a viewer here for many years. I'm not going to say his name, but had been somebody who'd been around a long time, had always been supportive. Until the last update where he decided to go rogue and leave three comments, rapid fire, back to back to back. Hashtag fake attention. Hashtag drama queens without jobs like being sick. And, huh, you have all the syndromes I never knew. Hashtag fake. Insta blocked. Fuck you, sir. The other one was an email I got this morning that is clearly somebody from... A certain someone else's channel coming over here just looking for shit to hate on. I don't know if they were looking to see if I'm talking about him or not. I don't know. But it was very clearly, the way they ended it, sealed it that this is for sure someone from that. Because the people who are regulars here know my situation and understand it. But regardless, they're just like... Wow, how self-absorbed can you be making four episodes about a cold? And yes, COVID is just a cold. <laughs> Move out of your parents' house already, for fuck's sake. It's like, this is clearly someone from that other channel. Because that last one, that sealed it. That sealed it. So, yeah. If I knew who they were on here, I'd block them here too. But because it was an email, I don't know who it aligns with or who to block. So, if I get a sniff of blood in the water, they're gone too. So, I'm not dealing with that shit. But regardless, like, how stupid can you be to think that COVID is a cold? Like, if you were lucky enough to where you only had cold symptoms, good for you. 
103 fever for days and days on end? That's not a cold. That's not a fucking cold. People who get long COVID, not a cold. People who end up in the hospital, not a cold. Fuck yourself. My living situation, none of your business. Again, fuck yourself. So, yeah. Don't have time for people like that. But, felt the need to highlight the bad actors. So, yeah, it's just like people love to kick you when you're down. One could make an argument that any type of vlogger who vlogs about their life is self-indulgent. That is literally the name of the game. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Simple as that. Don't click it. If you're somebody who's not even from here and have a problem with it, I have a better idea. It's real easy for you. Don't click it. Because there's plenty of people who are just fine with that content. But those who don't like it, just like people who are regulars here, but I upload all kinds of different content. They don't no one watches everything I upload, okay? If it's not your cup of tea, don't click it. Stick around for the stuff you do want. Skip the stuff you don't want. Easy. It's fucking easy. But if you don't like any of it, just don't come here. Like, I don't understand why this is hard for some people, but apparently it is. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing, so. Anyway. Yeah, I guess that concludes the COVID diaries, because I don't think there's anything that's going to randomly spring up now that's still related to this at this point. So, yeah, at, at least I was able to make it out of this a lot easier than I was expecting. That's not to say all COVID cases are that easy. I'm just saying the experience I had with this go-round of it, yeah, it sure sucked for like the earlier days of it, but... Compared to some people's experiences, I'm like, I, I am counting myself as one of the lucky ones. Because I know I have high risk factors with chronic health problems I have that this easily could have gone another way. So I I am counting myself very blessed that it didn't. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. But at the same time, it doesn't mean I want to ever catch it again if I can help it, you know? So I'm going to keep on keeping on the way that I have been the whole time. I believe very strongly in the N95 masks. I still wear them anytime I go out in public. That was part of why I was so damn frustrated that I caught this damn thing, despite how careful I've been with that, with hand sanitizer, with the obsessive hand wash, just social distance, it just... And it still happened. It still frigging happened. Pisses me off, but anyway. Yeah. So all you can do at that point is just try to handle it the best you can if you are unlucky enough to get it despite all of that. So, anyways, that's that. So, as usual, I guess on this one I feel a little better about doing my usual sign-off. I didn't on the others, but uh, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation oops, donation link, as always, is down in the description. Get your name on the end card for, uh, for a month from the time of donating. So anyway, guys, until next time. See ya.